Hi. Good evening. I do apologise for no um, afternoon recording. Um, I was quite late, but you know what they say, better late than never. So how are you football people all over the world? Um, are you at work? You just come from work? Or have you been waiting for me all day? <laughs> from your host, your guy himself, DLG Repping. Yes. Feel free to share the video. Um, leave your suggestions, your ideas, your opinion into my comment section below. Smash the thumbs up like button and please could you help me to subscribe to DLG Repping. Here we go. Yes, here it is. Dele London Guna. Otherwise, Romeo Echo Papa Papa Indigo November. There you go. And again. <laughs> right. Um, Leicester City 1, Arsenal 3. I'm going to be doing the match um, day review. And um, the players to the manager. And yes, the referee review. And um, ratings, should I say. But let's have a review of um, Leicester City v Arsenal. Now the first... Inside the first well, first six minutes, we were a goal down and shambolic defending. I mean, Pablo Marie, he, I agree with Martin Kieran, he has to go ball. You know, he's allowed Shaka to struggle, basically, and allow Tillemans to run. He saw Tillemans running, Shaka struggling. Before you know it, it's 1-0. Shaka should possibly have a go at man, Pablo Marie for not, going, for not closing that ball down. Or well, when I say close the ball down, he's got to be a lot more alert. That um, David Lewis is is marking Jamie Vardy the best that he could. I know Jamie Vardy because <laughs> Jamie Vardy was more concerned. Well, Jamie Vardy was more of a concern for Pablo Marie. In the first ten minutes, fifteen minutes, should I say, we were just all over the place defensively. RV Barnes, Tillemans. We were allowed to run the show. And, um, yeah, we struggled to come in. I'll tell you what, though. Um, we didn't do too badly in the first half. And um, we showed some character. And that was what's, that's what made the first half um, brilliant for us. You know, the, the character was brilliant. And, um, what, seven minutes before half-time, we get an equaliser for a set-piece... Um, Mr. Luke, Mr. Luke Thomas, he was um, guilty for a foul on um, Nicola Pepe. Pepe um, wins us a free kick. He dummies the he dummies it. William whips in a wicked free kick, a wicked set piece, should I say? And um, David Lewis glance header one one, and then the adrenaline clicked in, and um, we were on the front foot. Um, from there on, and um, he got a penalty, which was rightfully so, because how can Ndidi raise his arm, he's, have his arms, his hands up in the air the way he did, and Nicola Pepe is going for a spectacular far post um, scorcher, and um, he's blocked it with his arms, and he's just in the area. And there was another moment, yeah, before the penalty, that um, Nicola Pepe was tripped, but the first trip was from Tillemans, and it was deemed... Out, and it was outside the um, area, so thanks to VAR, we had a free kick um, just outside of the penalty area. Otherwise, if the first trip did not come from Tillemans, it would have come from yeah, our um, friend Wilfred Ndidi, the Nigerian international. Big up yourself, my fellow countryman from uh, from origin. But one a great day for you. One a great first half, should I say? And um, nothing came of. Um, Nothing came off um, hurt from the free kick because Pepe whipped it in, but it was blocked. For me, um, the penalty, which was well taken by Lacazette after um, Ndidi um, had his hands, um, raised his hands t uh, too far up. Referee gave the penalty when he went to go and have a look at the monitor and um, Lacazette took it well. And then um, we went into the interval 2-1 up. I don't know how. Because that 1-0 down with, with six minutes already gone. 
I thought this is going to be a long 90 minutes. But credit to Arsenal's um, character, their resilience. Um, we blew it back to 2-1 at half-time. And um, kind of the second half, um, yeah, we were just as good as... I think we were a little bit better than what we were in the in the second in the first half and we get a fine um goal vintage arsenal martin other got involved in it um with william who had a, a fine game who yeah and um Pepe couldn't miss the tapping it was a good build up overall other than that i'm going to look into the team and um the player ratings are going to be interesting. So without further ado, let's start with the player ratings, which was a 4-2-3-1, and there were six changes. And in that first half, you can obviously see that um, we couldn't have put enough, we couldn't have put more than four passes together without giving the ball away, maybe five passes without, together without giving the ball away. And it was a struggle. So again, player ratings time. In goal, Bird Leno. Um, he, yeah, the goal... He can't be faulted for the goal, but um, he dealt with um, two shots on tar- two other shots on target, which were straight at him, but nothing more to do. And then that, he didn't really have much to do, uh, not that I can recall, especially in the second half. I don't remember him making a save in anger. Um, Arsenal fans, if you're watching that game for the full 90 minutes, which I couldn't do, all I can do is keep an eye. Um, while the cameras at Crystal Palace were watching me and um, a number of um, stewards on the outside of the um, stadium. But I still tried to keep an eye on things, but it was so tough. But um, Arsenal fans, um, if you want to get back to me, Leicester City fans as well, if you want, if you want to um, share your disappointment, your opinions, like Arsenal fans, football fans, from a neutral watching, then do so. Smash the thumbs up like button, share it, and um, please subscribe to DLG Repping, myself and I only. But Bird Leno, um, nothing much to do. I'm going to give him a six. Two shots on target, nothing much to, to do. And those two shots on target were in the first half from Ashley Barnes and Kelechi Iheanacho. So I'm being completely honest, I'm going to give him a six. Right back, Cedric. Um, defensively, well... Steady and solid. Um, offensively, he he was not scared. You know, with Bellerin, that's the difference between Bellerin and um, Cedric. Cedric um, is not scared to whip a crossing in the final third. Of Bellerin, is too frightened, far too frightened, and too pedestrian and passive. And for me. Um, Cedric gets a seven for, I thought it was um, a real reasonable performance from his part. You know, he supported Pepe as much as he could and that was um, pleasing on the eye. So seven. Um, The two centre-half pairing of um, Lewis and Marie. Um, David Lewis um, got his goal. Um, Yeah, led by example from the back. Didn't think he was, um, apart from the goal, was not at, at his fault. So, I don't, he was at, he had nothing to do with the, um, the goal that we conceded in the first half. Uh, very, um, yeah, there was um, moments where he forced um, well, one too many passes. There, oh, I don't know about one too many passes. There was a couple of passes that I was not pleased to see him. Um, Produce because you know contribute because it was just so forceful and um, it was like he was panicking. If I'm giving David Lewis a mark out of ten, I'm going to give him a six. Pablo Marie, um, poor in the, quite poor in the first half. If I'm being honest, he allowed he, he allowed um, Shaka to continue to chase after Tillemans and Shaka was not even catching him. Marie was better off going to the ball. Showing his presence and uh, making it a lot, making the um, effort on goal a lot tougher for Yuri Tillemans, but he did not do none of that. Um, overall, apart from that, the Leicester City goal, which he was highly at fault for, I personally felt um, he was not too bad. And um, the second half, 
he improved quite a bit. So I'm going to give him a six and a half for the effort. Kieran Tierney, this guy, oh, his performances get a lot better and better. Puts in crosses and where it hurts. And defensively, I don't think he had much of the. Although he was caught out in, um, in a situation where Leicester were on a counter-attack, he was nowhere to be seen at left-back. And that's where I would like to see Kieran Tierney in a defensive um, matter. When I say matter, I want to see him in a position where he's prepared to defend properly. Now, other than that, um, I thought it was an, you know, a comfortable performance and reasonably steady. So I'm going to give him a seven. Um, a two in front of the midfield. Oh, sh sh El Nene and Shaka. El Nene, uh didn't offer anything in the midfield from an offensive point of view. You know, you should see that um, why Leicester were dominating the midfield here with him and Shaka. It just doesn't work. And with El Nene, he just didn't offer nothing. But um, other than work rate, what else does he offer? And his fitness, his, level, his fitness level is not a problem. And the work rate, but for me, doesn't offer enough. When As a footballer on the ball and a ball midfield player, he's... He's going sidewards and backwards. He's too safe for me. I mean, El Nene, four. I'm not impressed with him. Uh, let's talk about Granit Xhaka now. He offered us um, some forward passes. There were a couple of forward passes he played out to Tierney. And when he got into an advanced positioning, you know, he looked like he wanted to um, play quick passing. You know, he was prepared to play the risky forward pass. That's one thing um, I respect Shaka for. I suppose um, he may have contributed towards um, being at fault for the first goal. But other than that, I don't think it was a bad performance. I'm going to give him a six. The three in front of the midfield, two. Um, Nicola Pepe... Um, Yeah, this is one of his better games. He, he, I think he caused them um, their left back Luke Thomas all sorts of problems and end, and and all ends of problems for me. Um, he was running at him more direct than the usual Pepe that we normally see, and um, he's got his goal as well. Um, thought it was an um, exceptional performance. Seven and a half for Pepe. It's good to see him play well on the right hand side of all positions. I know. In the middle, Emil Smith wrote, um, he was involved with some link up, good link up play. But other than that, I, don't, I think there was one moment he was he was involved in a good link up play, but he got injured and um, yeah, he didn't start. He didn't start the first twenty minutes before the injury. Um, five for Emil Smith Rowe, and maybe fatigue is um, um, sinking into it, creeping into his game. So we might need to give him a rest. And I think the injury will give him a rest. And he'll come back like a fresh young player. And a hungry one. And that be so. Five for Emil Smith-Rowe. On the left, William. Well, what a game he had. He was direct at them. He looked like the William of Chelsea. You know. That is the... I think that's as good as game as he had since the Fulham game in the opening day of the season I think that's the best I've seen William play since um, Fulham away and my word he had a say in the two two of the three goals that we scored um, two two assists um, what else can I say about William um, yeah he looked dangerous from set, set pieces he looked, um, yeah, he looked dangerous when he was running at the Leicester City um, line, and he played some, and he played them um, Kieran Tierney in for a low cross that was dangerous. He played Kieran Tierney, Kieran Tierney, and that was a very good play of him. I thought he was our best performer on the day. Um, I'm going to give him an eight. Lacazette um, scored his penalty. Held the ball up as 
as well as he could. Um, when the crosses were going in, he wasn't really dead um, where it hurts. And that's my frustration with Lacazette. Now, other than that, I don't think he had a bad game, but not the best. But he was all right. I'm giving him a six and a half. Right, the substitutions. Um, the first one, Martin Odegaard. Yeah, he was the first one for me. Complete um, difference in in the, in the role of a number ten with Emil Smith Rowe. He's a link up um, number ten player with Odegaard. Not just a link up um, number ten player, but with the ball out of his feet, he's a footballing number ten, and you can see the difference. You know, you can just look at that third goal we scored in the second half. He contributed towards that, you know. Some will call it a pre-assist. I would lean towards that. And um, I thought he was, um, yeah, outstanding when he came on. I'm going to give him a seven and a half. Uh, Thomas Partey, yeah, he sh I'll tell you what. Difference between him and El Nani, massive difference. You can see the difference in in class, and he's come on. He's looked strong, physically quick with his feet, and um, quick with his passing of the ball. Very, very comfortable when with the ball, and you can see our midfield looks a lot more solid with him in that team coming in, and he's a starter all day long. Especially when he's fit. For me, I'll give him a six. Um, the other substitute, um, what's his name? Oh, Bamiang. I'll tell you what, it, he had that shot just off target. Um, looked um, pretty busy for me. I'm going to give him a six. Um, Mikel Arteta. Hmm. Tell you what, made six changes. Um, in the end, it paid dividends because we got the 3-1 victory. thought the players um, worked um, a lot harder off the ball compared to the last league game. And um, I think they got the reward in the end in the way that we contributed towards um, the match. So I'll, I'm going to give him a... I'm going to reward him a 7.5, Mikel Arteta. Um, the referee... For me, I thought he was spot on with the penalty. He did he did well. I'm going to give him a five. Paul, um, Paul Tierney, I think his name is. He went over to the monitor, had a look, rewarded us, uh, rewarded Arsenal the penalty, and rightfully so. Um, he got the free kick um, right where and did he was meant to have tripped um, Pepe, but it was Tillemans who did the tripping more than. Just more than uh, more than in Diddy, sorry. I'm trying to get my words out. Excuse me, it's been a long day. Um got the advice from the fourth official and he took it into his own initiative to give the free kick. I think um there was three bookings, two of Leicester, one of Arsenal. I don't think there was a nasty, nasty challenge out there. If anything, um I thought you refereed the game in control and complete um, authority. I'll give him a five. So that includes um, my match day review of Leicester City 1, Arsenal 3, my man, um, the player ratings, management and um, the ref. I'll be back. Um, I plan to be back later on again to do a football content overall. Other than that, I'll say, ladies and gentlemen, to the boys and the girls, thank you for listening, thank you for tuning in, thank you for always watching, and also thank you for always putting up with me for definitely. Um, I'm glad to be doing um, another um, podcast with you guys again. Um, I'll be even more glad if you can smash the thumbs up like button, um, leave your reaction, your player ratings, management, and refereeing. Give me your best ratings possible, your reaction, your opinions, all in my comment section below. Please share the heck out of this channel for me, left, right and centre, to your friends and your family, and smash the subscribe button by subscribing to myself, and I 
only DLG repping. I thank you again and um, I love to be back. Peace again, love again and bless again. Um, it's the business end of the, um, the day in London, England. Or in England, should I say. It might be the, the beginning or the middle of um, your day, wherever you're watching around the world. I'll be back later on, hopefully, to for one more video. And then, till then, should I say, stay safe, be good to yourself, and always be nice.